So how y'all gonna love white Jesus? And you don't love me. He came to fulfill the law and preach the establishment of a kingdom of righteousness. Buddha obliged followers to live in poverty and to renounce the world. Buddha said, if somebody strikes you on the right cheek, turn to him the other also. So, turn the other cheek was first said by Buddha. Hercules, also known as Heracles. Heracles was also born on December 25th. 800 BCE to a virgin was sacrificed at the spring equinox. So Hercules was born to a virgin was sacrificed uh, at the spring equinox during Easter, right? So Hercules, the son of the god Zeus, was born around 500 BCE, 800 BCE on December 25th predestined by birth to inherit the throne of Argos. Hera, the jealous wife of Zeus, desired a throne for another and sought to delay the birth of Hercules and subsequently tried to kill Hercules while in his crib by sending two snakes to strangle him. Hercules killed the snakes, though he was less than a year old. Later, he was sent away to the countryside where he became a shepherd. The Egyptian sun god, Amun-Ra, A-M-U-N-R-A, a hyphen in between a m u n hyphen capital r a ra just a sun god ra egyptian god called ra was conceived by a virgin zeus is the father of gods and men who rules the olympians of mount olympus as a father rules the family according to ancient greek religion he's the god of sky and thunder in greek mythology zeus is etymologically cognate with and under hellenic influence uh, became particularly closely identified with the roman jupiter zeus is the child of cronus and rhea and the youngest of his siblings according to the iliad he is the father of aphrodite by dione uh, d-i-o-n-e Zeus is known for his erotic escapades. Those resulted in many godly and heroic offspring, including Athena, Apollo, Artemis, Hermes, Persephone by Demeter, Dionysus, Perseus, Her Heracles. Those resulted in many godly and heroic offspring, including Athena, Apollo, Artemis, Hermes, Persephone by Demeter, Dionysus, Perseus, Her Heracles. Those resulted in many godly and heroic offspring, including Athena, Apollo, Artemis, Hermes, Persephone by Demeter, Dionysus, Perseus, Her Heracles. Greek religion, even the gods who are not his natural children, address him as father, and all the gods rise in his presence for the Greeks. Zeus is the king of gods who oversaw the universe as Paul Sanias observed that Zeus is king in heaven is a saying common to all men. In Hesiod's Theogony, Zeus assigns the various gods their roles. In the Homeric hymns, he is referred to as the chieftain of the gods. Zeus' symbols are the thunderbolt, eagle, bull, and oak. In addition to his Indo-European inheritance, a classical cloud gatherer also derives certain iconographic traits from the cultures of the ancient Near East, such as the scepter. Zeus is frequently depicted by Greek artists in one of two poses, standing, striding forward with a thunderbolt leveled in his right, raised right hand, or seated in majesty. Zeus was born on December 25th. Prometheus was born on December 25th. Prometheus descended from heaven as a god incarnate as man to save mankind. Prometheus was crucified, suffered, and was redeemed from death. Hermes was born on December 25th. Hermes was the son of the Virgin Maia, which actually I've heard before. And remember the Holy Trinity, Hermes, Tris, and Megas Megastus. So Hermes was part of a Holy Trinity, son of a virgin, born on December 25th. So the Vatican, it's a culmination of all these gods, especially of Mithra. It was built upon the papacy of Mithra. Christian hierarchy is nearly identical to the Mithraic version. All these other versions too, Buddha and uh, uh, Krishna. Uh, virtually all the elements of the Catholic ritual from the mitre to wafer to altar to doxology are directly taken from earlier pagan mystery religions. Mithraism. Mithraism was one of the major religions of the Roman Empire which is derived from the ancient Persian god of light and wisdom. The cult of Mithraism was quite prominent in ancient Rome. 
especially among the military, Mithra was the god of war, battle, justice, faith, and contract. According to Mithraism, Mithra was called the son of God, was born of a virgin, had disciples, was crucified, rose from the dead. On the third day atoned for the sins of mankind and returned to heaven. Therefore, the critics maintain that Christianity borrowed its concepts from the Mithra cult. The reason why all these religious cults had a celebration on December 25th is because that is the day when the day beats the night. That's the sol winter solstice, and it happens on the 25th. Second, and it lasts for about three days. The sun just sits right at the same spot. On the third day, the sun begins to move in the direction of conquering the night. Uh, the constellations had something to do with the Southern Cross constellation. So you have the 22nd, winter solstice starts to happen, and that's when the days are not shrinking, but they're going to start getting bigger, and we're going to start getting warmer and warmer days. So it's the tip of the iceberg, it's the coldest, um, the longest night, or the coldest day, uh, or I don't know, I don't know if I want to say the coldest day, but it's, uh, it's in the middle of winter, actually it's like three months of winter after that, uh, December, January, and February are the coldest months. Um, but anyways, because of the sun sitting there for three days, that's the uh, Son of God, right? That's why we worship on Sunday. Uh, the sun just sits there, and that's the winter solstice, so yay, that's, that's like the death. Then three days later, there's a resurrection and a rebirth, and the God... Uh, sun God finally conquers nighttime and conquers whatever was, had been taking it down, you know, from the summer solstice, right? Through half of the year, it started losing to the to the night. Night started getting uh, bigger than the day, and so now the day is going to get bigger than the night, and so things are going to start to warm up, and that's why we have um, all these sun gods that were born on December twenty fifth. Because that was when, finally, after three days, the uh, sun god was resurrected, right? It had died and then resurrected, and now it was going to ascend into heaven and be there for uh, uh, to shine on all of our vegetation and agriculture and civilization, right? The uh, beginnings of civilization. So... Um, the Sirius is the bright star in the east and the three bright stars in Orion's belt represents the three kings the point to the sunrise on December 25th all right, they point to it. The uh, Orion's belt points to Sirius, which is the bright star in the east. Three kings follow the bright star to the sunrise. And that's the reason why we have the uh, pagan rituals and celebrations and uh, imagery that we have today. Other people that was born on December 25th, you have Cab Calloway, Jimmy Buffett, Humphrey Bogart, Claire Barton, Dido, Anwar Sadat, Carl Rove, Isaac Newton, and Simon Gurdy. From December 22nd to the 25th, um, that's when the soul, uh, winter solstice happens. On December 23rd is the uh, annual holiday of Festivus. For the rest of us, the next best non-commercial thing to Christmas, enjoy your meatloaf, airing your grievances, and having feats of strength as you gather around the Festivus pole and collect donations for the Human Fund. Just don't forget the true meaning of Festivus. Have a rainbow Kwanzaa cultural regeneration for all folks. Black Power Revolution. Simon Gurdy was born on Christmas Day, December 25th, 1741. Simon Gurdy was a white man who fought against the American revolutionaries in defense of the Native Americans. There is more evidence uh, of this than of Jesus Christ being born on December 25th. Uh, December 25th is when the good, red-blooded, gun-toting Americans worship the immaculately conceived sun god, American revolutionary hero, Simon Gurdy. December uh, 25th, Sir Isaac Newton was born, so Grav Moss, we have a Grav Moss, he was the inventor of both calculus and physics, and thus the uh, geek, uh, er geek of all geeks was born on Christmas Day. So, Merry Isaac Newton Day, right, happy Isaac Newton Day. Um, we can review all these r real fast. All these guys were born on December 25th, okay? So the same day that supposedly Jesus the Christ, um, the Savior of all humanity, was born, is the same day all these other gods just happened to be born, right? Uh, just a, a wacky coincidence. Saturn was born on December 25th, Sol Invictus, Apollo... Addis of Phrygia, Bacchus, aka Dionysus, 
Helios, Horus, Jupiter, Krishna, Mithras, Nimrod, Perseus, Tammuz, Buddha, Hercules, the Egyptian sun god Ra, Zeus, Prometheus, Hermes. How many was that? Let's go backwards. Hermes, Saturn, was born on December 25th, Sol Invictus, Apollo, Addis of Phrygia, Bacchus, a.k.a. Dionysus, Helios, Horus, Jupiter, Krishna, Mithras, Nimrod, Perseus, Tammuz, Buddha, Hercules, the Egyptian sun god Ra, Zeus, Prometheus, Hermes. How many was that? Let's go backwards. Hermes, Saturn, was born on December 25th, Sol Invictus, Apollo, Addis of Phrygia, Bacchus, a.k.a. Dionysus, Helios, Horus, Jupiter, Krishna, Mithras, Nimrod, Perseus, Tammuz, Buddha, Hercules, the Egyptian sun god Ra, Zeus, Prometheus, Hermes. How many was that? Let's go backwards. Hermes. So that's a lot of uh, gods that were born on the same exact day as Jesus the Christ. Is it possible that the entire thing's a hoax? Was there even a Jesus Christ? Did this man even exist? He's drawn like a white man, but he was supposedly the hair of wool. That's not a white man. In the Middle East is brown skin. So at the very least, you know, it would have to be brown, possibly black. So... Jesus Christ was born on the first day of the Feast of Tabernacles during the fall. Um, so it's, Jesus Christ is a myth. That's it's made up, right? That's the greatest hope perpetuated upon the American people. Uh, and Jesus Christ was a myth. Just like the Catholic Church, the entire order is totally made up. Uh, the Catholic Church is made up in order to create a catch-all religion. So they created Jesus the Christ in order to capture all the Krishnas and the Mithras and the Hercules and the Zeus, you know, believing people and, um, you know, all the rest of them. Uh, and that's, that's how Jesus Christ got to be born on December 25th. 